Hello friends, Sniz here, and today we are going to be going over quite a few things, mainly Legion, and I've dedicated a huge portion of that to Legion. But uh, for now, in the background, you're seeing me fuse items. This was before the update that changed how you can gain alchemy experience, which this is no longer a method. But if you're wondering how I got my alchemy to level 9 before the change, this is how I did it. I bought brown skull caps from the Henesis market and then I fused them. Unfortunately this method is no longer available but I just I thought I'd show it just to uh, have that background information. Uh, but continuing I moved on to the Master SS ring. This was during the Magpie event so you can obviously tell how far behind I am because this is the end of January that uh, this recording started at. So I'm working on trying to obtain a Master SS ring, which was very difficult at this point in time because uh, you had to play, there was very limited ways to get Magpie coins and you could buy 10 boxes a day for 10 coins each equaling 100, plus you had to buy 4 basic rings to combine the S jewels with, uh, and all sorts of things. So what, and it's all RNG, you have a 50, as explained in previous videos, 70% chance to tear up from C to B, 50 to tear up from B to A, and 30% chance to tear up from A to S, so it, you could be very unlucky. And the problem was, is that you were basically forced to play Yacht, uh, to get most of your, the majority of your coins, and then in addition, it was, uh, you were limited to like 10, 10 games of Yacht a day or something like that. Um, I'm also showing in the background me on a Kana Mule using Miracle Circulators because in the process of getting everything done, uh, at this point in time, pet loot lag was still not fixed and Suicide Kanas were the way to make Meso at the beginning, which is in fact what I did. I planned to be a bye-bye Suicider, so that is what I decided to do. I decided to get to 150 and then Suicide at bye-bye every time I got close to 151 due to the Meso penalty. The way the Meso penalty and uh, XP and drop penalty works, to my knowledge, is that, at least for the Meso penalty, uh, when you are below 10 levels of a monster and above 10 levels of a monster, you experience no Meso drop penalty. As soon as you are 11 levels or higher, uh, from, a level, from 11 levels below or higher than the monster, you experience 2, 12 is 4%, uh, three is six percent all the way till 20 where it's uh uh 40 percent meso yeah is it no 20 percent meso uh loss which isn't too bad in reality but it is still loss of meso um also wanted to showcase in the background that i was working on legion i did manage to tear it up a rank and Unlock it in general, so we will discuss Legion today. After we shortly take a break to talk about some events. So, as mentioned before, Master SS rings are uh, completely RNG and can be complete bullshit. I was very lucky I managed to get two during this event, uh, because you, for most items you want, for the items that are unique and you can attain two of, you normally want one for damage and one for drop. I think this only applies to the Master SS ring to my knowledge, because the current best in slot loadout is a Cosmos or Vengeful ring, a Superior Golix ring, a Master SS, and a Max Set Effect Synergy ring. This is going to change with the Arc update because we are going to be introduced to the Chaos ring, which is basically a ring that you can Chaos scroll with a built-in feature that comes with I believe 20 or 30 all stat and 20 attack so and apparently the rolls can be plus 5 or minus 5 on everything so the optimal ring unless you're a xenon is going to be plus 5 on your main and secondary stat even though the secondary stat is minuscule in reality plus 5 attack or 5 magic attack depending on your class so that will be totaling at 35 or 35 main at least, hopefully, 35, uh, you know, secondary stat, but you definitely want the 25 attack, or magic attack, depending on your class. 
Uh, but currently, I was investing in a Master SS ring in the background, and the Chaos ring is not for a bit. Uh, I don't think it's going to come out for another month and a half, around June, end of May. We don't really know. Uh, Nexon is slowly catching up to the Korean Maple Story version with our updates, so it's nice. But uh, as you can see, I did manage to get one S jewel or two S jewels, so I did craft them. I do not know how many I got. But what you do is you talk to the mortar, not the bunny, and you combine. Yeah, that was one S jewel. I had two S, S rings at this point in time, or three, uh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Point is, is you get four of them, make one master SS ring. Um, so from there, I moved on to Legion. And I'm going to tell you right now, don't do your daily legions if unless you're really, really struggling. Okay, so that last point I said about not doing your daily legions is diff uh, depends on your ability. For me, it was not worth it at all because I could barely do damage. Uh, it took me long ass time. Like this is, clip is 20 minutes long, but it's going to be shortened dramatically for me to explain. If I haven't explained already, Legion is something that unlocks when you have three characters that are at least over level 60 and total to 500 uh, level, total level. Legion has major benefits. Uh, as you can see in the middle of this, well, when you open the Legion menu, you'll see that there is eight inner sections that you can customize and move around to fit what you want. Uh, they are the four main stats, HP, MP, and attack and magic attack. The outer ones are unmovable, and you have to level up your legion to 2k, I want to say 2.5k, to unlock the first area that you can assign your members to. And uh, the realistic end game goal is 8k legion. You're not going to get much higher than that because of the fact that you have to. That 8k alone requires uh, 40 characters at level 200, uh, if you were just to make them all equal. There's benefits to leveling your legion because uh, along with getting just the base stats and uh, effects that the legion board itself gives you, like crit damage, IED, main stat, attack, uh, critical damage, crit rate, all sorts of things, there is also the added benefit of wanting to uh, level your characters because the characters, depending on their level, take up more pieces of the board. So at level 60, your, your character is worth one piece. At 100, it's worth two. 140 is three. 200 is four. And 250 is five. And they, along with gaining an extra spot on the board with a different shape depending on the class, you also gain the added effect of whatever that class supplies. So I'm playing a Thunderbreaker. So at 140, it gives me 40 extra strength that is not affected by potentials. Which is still an extra an extra boost of damage. Um, other classes can give boss damage, IED, crit damage, which is probably the most important. Like Jet, Hayato, and Shade, which are not all painful, all that painful to level. I believe only Jet is the really painful one. Hayato can be pretty simple if you enjoy the class at least. And I quite did because, uh, and I didn't do it till much later, but I quite did due to the sorta pseudo combo uh, combos they had. It feels clunky, but it 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 still really is uh, easy to level at least. It had a good amount of damage, and I also did it when my legion was leveled up quite a bit. So other than that, uh, in the background you're seeing me doing the daily quests. You will have two daily quests for a total of thirty coins, and this will be made easier in the future update uh, for Arc because they're going to shorten dailies. Even though they're not shorting this daily, they are re increasing the spawn rate of the Golden Wyverns, which you need to kill 20 of. They actually have a quite low, sp they have a lowish spawn rate, and completing the 20 kills nets you 20 coins from the daily quest. Com killing all 100 of the regular Wyverns gets you 10 coins for a total of 30. And 30 Legion coins doesn't sound like much, but at the beginning, it's very helpful if you want to get uh, the 2x e EXP coupon or mainly the wealth coupons, which are super important to us because uh, meso rates are hugely dependent on them since it increases our meso rate by 50%. On the topic of meso, you can increase your 
You may still obtain up to 120% through inner ability and gear. You can get 20% Meso Obtain lines on your inner ability, which is separate, and then you can get up to five lines of Meso Obtain on your accessories, rings, uh, face, eye, and earrings. So that should be, wait, four rings, face and eye is six, seven is earrings, so I'm missing two other accessories, which I can't think of at the moment off the top of my head, because you should have nine accessories. Uh, not gonna bother with it right now, but basically at end game and the well the beginning of getting your drop in meso gear, you're gonna have it split five and four, so a hundred meso rate and eighty percent drop. Uh, you're not gonna focus on drop as much anymore because it is less valuable than meso obtained because you're gonna be always gaining meso while you're training, whereas you're not always gonna be gaining nodes. But this is way towards the end. This is after fifth job and we're currently only 187. So we're getting closer, but we're still not there. And as you can see, I am struggling to kill these monsters. Uh, it takes numerous hits and it really wasn't worth it, but I wanted the wealth coupons to use on my suicide kana because I needed meso. Um, all in all, this daily was really not worth it at the beginning, but I did it because I needed Meso. It was my longest daily, actually. So, would I recommend? No, not whatsoever. Other than that, I will see you in the next episode where I get to hopefully uh, cover other things and move closer to the end of everything I have. Uh, move closer to the present of recordings, not be behind by three months or technically four-ish or three and a half right now. Anyways, goodbye friends.